If your audio is distorted and terrible sounding like this, I'm sure you've thought that you have a low quality microphone or maybe that your microphone is broken. But in reality, chances are you just haven't set the mic up correctly. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to get your audio sounding like this, where even if you get excited, you do not distort. Step one, set your microphone's gain or level properly. The cause of this distortion is called clipping. To overly simplify this, the reason this happens is our microphone's gain or level is set too high, and in most cases, then when we hit 0 dB or 0 dBFS, that clipping is going to occur. So in order to resolve this, the first thing we need to do is make sure the correct microphone is selected in our DAW or streaming software. And then to set our level correctly, we are going to be looking at the meter in our recording software or streaming software. And before we go any farther, check the timestamps because now I'm going to walk through how to set the level correctly for three different microphone types. Step 1.1, setting the level for a USB microphone with no gain dial. First up in the operating system audio devices settings, you're going to select the microphone that you're using. And then while we watch the meters in OBS or your DAW, we are going to decrease the level so that we are peaking between minus 20 and minus 12 dB. For this microphone, I know I want to set this to zero dB or about 44%. And now on the meter, we are exactly where we want to be. I want to point out not everybody should be using 44%. This is going to differ from microphone to microphone and sound source to sound source. You need to look at your meters while you're setting your level to find out what it should be set at. Step 1.2, setting the level and gain for a USB microphone, which has a gain dial. Before we adjust the physical gain dial on the microphone, we need to make sure that our operating system level is set to unity, which means we are not boosting and we are not attenuating the input. In your operating system settings, you're going to select the microphone that you are using. On Mac, you'll go into audio MIDI setup. On the PC, go into your input settings, additional settings, levels, and then right click on the slider and change it to decibels. And then you'll adjust the level so your decibel meter reads zero so you are not boosting or attenuating the signal. And then while looking at your meter in OBS or your DAW, you are going to decrease the physical gain dial until you are peaking around minus 20 to minus 12 dB. And that looks like that's good. Step 1.3, setting the gain for an XLR mic that's running through an audio interface. First thing we'll do is go into our operating system audio devices settings and make sure that our input level is set to unity so we are not boosting and we are not cutting that input. In many cases, you won't have the option to adjust this, but sometimes you do. Just make sure this is set to 0 dB. Once we verified that, we'll look at our meters in OBS or whatever DAW you're using and slowly adjust the physical gain dial until you're peaking between minus 20 and minus 12 dB. Step two, add digital gain to make the audio a little bit louder. It's undeniable that with our settings like this, our audio is a little bit quiet, so we need to bring that up a little bit. And now that our audio is being captured cleanly and without distortion on our computer, we can safely do that with a couple of plugins. In OBS or whatever DAW you're using, you are going to add a plugin or a filter called Gain, so I will click on the menu and select Filters. And for this demonstration, I found that adding 9 decibels of gain was the best, now that I have engaged that, you can tell we have a much healthier signal, but we do still have an issue. If I get loud and exciting and we look at our meter and we listen to the audio, it still distorts. Now we are encountering digital clipping, so we need to account for that. Step three, add a limiter to avoid digital clipping. In order to ensure that we do not hit or exceed 0 dBFS, we are going to use something called a limiter. This essentially functions as a brick wall and it says, do not let any audio signal exceed this threshold. For this demonstration, I have my threshold set to minus one decibel. And if I get excited before I engage the limiter, we clip and distort. And once I engage the limiter and I get excited and loud, we do not clip, we do not distort. It sounds nice and clear. Step four, add a compressor. 
Technically, you don't need to do this because you're already avoiding the clipping, but I think adding a compressor is a nice touch because that's going to decrease the difference between the really loud parts and the really quiet parts of your recording, and it just makes it a better listening experience for your audience. The compressor settings that I have set up are a ratio of 4 to 1, a threshold of minus 10 decibels, an attack of 10 milliseconds, a release of 60 milliseconds, and I am not using the output gain to make up any gain reduction. Here is how it sounds when I'm speaking normally without the compressor engaged, and here is how it sounds when I'm speaking normally with the compressor engaged. Here is how it sounds when I'm speaking very loudly without the compressor engaged. And if I were very loud and excitable, here is how it would sound with the compressor engaged. That is the entire solution. It is actually that simple. Now you have zero excuse for having clipping or distorting audio in your stream or recording. But before we end the video, let's address a couple of questions. Question one, why can't you just increase your operating system level and then limit the sound in OBS? Before discussing this, let's just try it out and see what happens. Now I have the input level for the Razer Siren Mini set to 100% and we are clipping and we are distorting. Let me jump over to OBS. And now I have engaged the minus one decibel limiter in OBS and what do you hear? The audio is still clipping, the audio is still distorting, even though our meter shows we are not hitting zero dBFS. And to be clear, the exact same thing holds true for audio interfaces. To demonstrate this, I've increased the physical gain on the interface to the point of clipping. I have the limiter engaged at minus 1 dB, and even though we are not hitting 0 dBFS on the meter, we are certainly still clipping and distorting and sounding terrible. So why does this happen? With audio interfaces and USB mics with a physical gain dial, when you set that too high and then get too loud, you are ultimately clipping the analog to digital converters, and once that distortion is written to the file, there is nothing you can do to get rid of it. For USB mics that don't have any gain dial, this isn't exactly how it works, but the simplest way I can explain it is think of your operating system settings as one application, and then your DAW or streaming software software as another application. In order to get the audio from your operating system settings into your software, it is kind of like rendering that audio and then importing that rendered audio file into that software. So because you're essentially writing that distortion into the audio stream that is being sent around your computer, once that data and distortion is written, there's nothing you can do to get rid of it. That's why setting our level so there's no distortion before it goes into OBS or our DAW is so incredibly important. Question two, am I distorting because my microphone is cheap? Do I need a more expensive microphone? Absolutely not. You can use a cheap microphone and set it up properly and not encounter that clipping. And even if you use an expensive microphone, you can still set it up incorrectly and distort and get terrible sound. In this video, I used a $30 microphone, a $90 microphone, and a $3,700 microphone. I got all of them to sound great, and I also got every single one of them to sound bad. The final point that I want to make is this process can be extrapolated. You do not need to do this only in OBS. Pretty much every single DAW or piece of recording software or streaming software is going to have a gain plugin, a compressor plugin, and a limiter plugin. You can apply this exact same process in any of those pieces of software and get the same result. That's all that I've got for you today. If you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hated it, big ol' thumbs down. If you have questions that you want answered in the next FAQ video or Q&A video, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for coming by, watching, and listening. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa, boop.